Hello everyone, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit and today I'm going over day seven of 30 days of sketches and I am super excited because I'm going to actually be making two layouts. Um, in this video, I'll only be showing you guys one. The other one is going to be the same um, sketch. It's just going to be different. Um, it's going to be using this collection. So when I saw this sketch, I immediately thought of, of course, Easter, but I don't really have any um, smaller photos to scrapbook for that. Um, I've already done a page with that. So I decided I was going through and I have these kits that I made when I printed out a whole bunch of paper. I just like sat down and had fun or a whole bunch of paper, printed a whole bunch of photos. I sat down and I kind of went through and just made like smaller kits out of either scraps. I think I did this for 30 days of sketches or like my 30 day, um, series back in June of last year and I still have some of those left over so I decided I would flip through that um, and I found that I had these photos from when we went down to the ocean in three different packets like I think um I think that these two were in this one. Yes, that was it. These two were in here and I was going to make two layouts out of those. And then this one was with this kit. Some of them just had like things that I wanted to use up. So the more and more I thought about it, I don't want to do three layouts. As you guys know, I kind of want to start shrinking down on the layouts um, and kind of planning ahead um, because it's it's a lot of room to store those 12 by 12, um, scrapbooks and I do love them, but I can't scrapbook every single, um, day or whatever. So I'm really trying to pick and hone on the ones. Obviously these are, um, you know, I want to scrap them, but it's, it's a lot to scrap three versus two. Um, so anyways, I decided I was going to, um, when I saw this, I think this one was in there and I was like, okay, well, this is a starter of a kit. And as I looked at it, I am not a fan of these. I think I was just trying to use them up. And so for me, really this year, I am focusing on if I don't like it, it's going out of my stash, um, because I can't, I don't want to make a layout. I've done this in the past where I've made a layout just trying to use product up and I, I didn't, didn't like the layout as much. So these are going to go on my de-stash bin. Um, not going to use them. So I do have this paper and when I saw this paper, I immediately thought of my new product, well, new to me, um, called Poolside. And, um, I just have these two things from the poolside collection. So when I saw this, I prompted to this paper pad. I got these all at the scrapbook yard sale. Um, and it's just really, really pretty paper. I'll show you guys with a little bit of like a um, cream base, which is nice because this summer paper, like the, the paper, the colors just look really, really great together. Maybe not this blue so much, but um, I mean, spot on with the green and the pinks and the yellows and everything. So I'm super excited because I'm going to be using this that I haven't touched, this that I haven't touched, and I'll incorporate this paper because um, I will use that. So then I went to, I was going to add more to this because this is only four pictures and I wanted the total that it had. Um, so in this one right here, I had the same trip, just a different day. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this in half and put these two on this page. And then the rest are going to go on another page, exactly the same layout as this one. Um, and they'll go side by side in the album. But I'm going to be using this um, kit that I have. 
also I just have like a whole bunch of fun things in here that I put that kind of matched this collection. And I could, you know, intertwine using some of that stuff, but I figured first, let me just, you know, try to use some of this stuff. And I'm sorry guys for the uh, noise. So I have Summer Fun, I have these cut aparts, I have this, which actually goes well with these too. So I could intertwine these together. Um, I think that the pinks are just a little bit more brighter on this than they are in here. Like there's some pastel -y pinks, but I could definitely use this and come up with my own, um, my own little layout. So that's my plan. That's what I'm doing. So you guys will see, I will, I will try to remember to put both of them in the in this video um it just might be like a little clip of this one because I'm really going to be focused on using this one um so that is my plan no it was a long intro um I am going to look through I have all these all these bags <laughs> um I'm going to be looking through and just kind of picking out what I want to use for this one I really, really like the stripes. Um, so I really want to, I kind of want to use this pink. Oh, I like that pink too. Um, and I do love this flowered. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip through. I'm going to pick out the papers that I kind of want to use for the sketch. And then I'll be back to show you guys kind of what I decided maybe a little bit of a setup. So then that way you guys can see, and then we will go from there. So, um, let's get started on day seven and I'm super excited. Okay, everyone, I'm back and I have some progress made. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how I put everything together. Um, so first things first, is uh, I used this pink polka dot paper and I am covering up this paper. I would get this, but there's, I, I'm not going to use two of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, cover it up, make the paper a little bit thicker. Um, and that's okay for me to do it that way. Cause you know, I have so much paper that it's kind of, crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And so I have it so that way the little bit of flowers are showing through. And then I have like kind of my setup piece. So this piece wasn't long enough to obtain the background paper. And so I actually used this paper was like one of those like odd papers that have this like scallop and then it was like another border um so i went ahead and i just used the scallop because the uh the sketch uses that and i figured it would be a perfect little way to just kind of add some gold to my layout even though there's gold in here um it just i don't know it just all looks really good together so um i went ahead and i cut both of them out and I'm gonna use them as little borders, which I'm super happy about to use that. So that's gonna be like the strip that's going down. And then, um, so this piece was actually not big enough. So I'm going to, I cut it so that way you don't see where I cut it because this is going to be covering it. So. I'm just going to layer this up with the edge of this blue paper. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there and just layer the edge here as well. Kind of maybe line them up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I know it's a lot going on with this layout, but I mean, these papers are super cute and I'm just happy to 
use them and play with them. So I am going to add this as my main piece. It didn't seem to go down. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna move it, um, gonna bring it over this way a little bit more. That's what the sketch has. So I'm just gonna bring it over there, layer it down, and then we're gonna put this piece on top. And just kind of layer it more so this way than anything. Um, I think that's what the sketch has too, like more on this side. Okay, so then I have my photos on some pink paper and um, the, paper, the photos in the sketch are three by threes, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this fun um, little colorful paper as like, I think it's like two and a half or something like that. So I figured that would be really cute to add kind of some layering, use some of the paper because I really, really like this polka dot paper. It was super cute. So I wanted to at least get it on some layout. So I have some, I think that they have basically this kind of off to the side. I think this paper is a little bit bigger than what's in the sketch, but that's okay. Cause my title actually is going to work out perfect. So, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down my photos. Um, and then next we'll go into decorating. So I'm pretty excited to be decorating because I just, I'm super excited uh, to get some of this done and scrapbooked. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be back because I have tons of, tons of photos. Well, I have a couple more, but I don't want to bore you guys with the photos and if I have to fix them, which I think I do. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to fix them, but yeah, I will be back and I'll show you guys kind of what it looks okay, like. Okay. So I made the commitment. I put everything down. I added this title from my, um, create paper, little, um, chipboard piece. So I'm good for that. Now I'm going to add um, a couple of other things. So I have this right here that I want to add a couple things. This one being the sweet. And I wanted to put it kind of right here. Um, so it said sweet, hello, you know, hello, sweet summertime, but um, it doesn't matter which way it goes. I really just love it. So I'm going to add it right there. And then I have another little like flower I wanted to add up in this corner to kind of do like a triangle. And then I have this little sun that I was going to add right here, just kind of um, off center to the, you know, so that way it's like two of these right next to each other. And then I have some chipboard. So I took some of the flowers and I want to add one right here, actually. Should we do it on this side? Okay, I know I wanna add this one over here. It's just like a tiny little flower that I wanna kind of add to that side. So I don't know if I wanna add this over here or over here. I'm kinda of thinking right here. So we're gonna make the commitments. These are like super sticky, so there's no way I'm getting them up. Um, so that's it for these stickers. Um, I'm gonna see if I can add some more chipboard. Um, we'll see. But these stickers are seriously so cute. I love them and I cannot wait to use the rest of them. I was thinking maybe I could do like a pinwheel layout and keep these with this collection and then that way um, I can use them. Who knows? Um, I also have 
the sticker sheet from the summer fun collection that actually has some cool things. So um, it has Hello Summer, which we already have on here, um, but it does have some really cute little, you know, words. So I was going to add a couple of them maybe. Um, so we could maybe add this one kind of up here. And then I was thinking maybe about adding one down here and up here if I can. Um, let's see. Summer fun. So maybe we can add, uh, maybe we can add it down here. Just kind of like tucked underneath. And then I have, I'm gonna use sunshine up here. I think it's like underneath there, there we go. So I have those, I really like that. Um, and then I do have a couple other things I could add. So I'm just gonna look and see what I have. Not really seeing anything else that I want to add from this collection. So let's go ahead and let's go to the chipboard and let's see what we can find from here. Um, this chipboard is amazing. So I could add some of these arrows, like these little, I love the gold accents. They're so fun. Um, I just don't know where I would add them. I would add them like down here. Like would I add it down here? Or would that be too much? You know what I mean? Cause I have, I would put the golden arrows right here, up here. And then I probably would put this down here, but I just don't want it like chilling. I don't know. put it like that and then put the gold arrows up here let's see what that looks like I am using a lot of this stuff which is pretty awesome I do love this collection though it's super cute and I feel like I just broke a nail Broken nail while scrapbooking. That's a new one for me. Um, okay. I am really, really liking that um, because this has gold, this has gold. And then if I feel like I want to put something right here, maybe, I think that would work. I just don't know what. I'm going to look to see if they have any more gold accents. I'm just trying to get this last arrow and those chipboards are really on there so if we do that we do that we could put the arrow right here or down here We'd have to move this, which I do like. Uh, no, I like that. I don't want that there. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. You know what? This is like, hmm, what do you think? And maybe, maybe that way. So that one doesn't have really anything. I kind of don't like that because these arrows are not like intertwining. Maybe that. Okay, I think I like that. Maybe this like right here. Okay, 
maybe this, maybe this will work. Okay, I'm gonna make the commitment. I'm making the commitment. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna say this one is done. Look, we used a lot of chipboard pieces from this. I feel like I'm going to enjoy that. But this is the layout for um, number seven. I will leave a little clip at the end of this to show you guys um, the layout that I did basically the same style um, except different papers. And I might, you know, use some of these products from this collection. Um, but I really, really like this. Super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, check out everybody or um, hopefully there's a playlist. If not, I will link Chrissy's from Chrissy's Beautiful Life, her um, channel. You can go check her out and I'm sure she'll have something on her channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly the other layout that I made. So this is the first one. You guys saw my process through it all. This one is a little bit busy, um, but I love, 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 love how it turned out. Um, I love the tags. I used the um, kind of the kit that I put together. Uh, and so I'll show you guys what I have left over. I did make some pinwheels so I could add some pinwheels to this. And yeah, I just kind of had some fun just with some little clear acetate pieces that really matched brought a little bit of that like blue out. Um, but this is basically gonna go right next to it. So you can tell they kind of go together, but with not like in sync. Um, I should have done this little strip on this side, but it's okay. Uh, so let me show you guys what I have left over, um, which is gonna be a lot because this kit was big. So I have a couple more of these poolside stickers. Um, I have a lot of chipboard from the poolside. So these will go back in my stash and just, you know, I'm super excited to have some of those. Um, I was able to use a couple of things from this little uh, kit thing that I put together. I'm not really digging the, um, like these I like the, the leaves, but these I'm not really digging anymore. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put these in my stash bin and I will put these back away in my little kit. I have one more of these that I didn't use. Oh, and here is a little umbrella. Um, and then I have, uh, the sticker sheet, which I didn't use a lot. I thought I was going to, but I did not. So that's fine. So I'm going to add that just back in here. And then for this kit, I still have this sheet. I still have a piece of this sheet. I still have this full sheet. So I will keep these all together. Um, and just kind of uh, see if I could use them with the um, collection or not. So I have that. And then I have a whole bunch of scraps left over from this collection. So um, yeah. And I have this blue scrap too. So that'll go into the other one. But yeah, lots of scraps, lots of scraps. So I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these um, and see how I'm going to do that. But I figured I'd show you guys what I have left over. Kind of what I do when I have a kit like this. And yeah, that's it. I'm pretty excited that I got to play. I'm really excited that I got to play with some newer products um, of mine, so super happy that I got to do that and get at least two layouts done. So I will be back in my next video and um, hopefully, yeah, I can play with some more newer product for myself. <laughs>